Hello everyone and welcome to the second vlog from Berlin Game Studio. My name is still Anna and I'm alone today as well unfortunately. Uh, Laura is off in Skövde. She's holding a workshop for some people that we work with. And today I'm here at my workstation. This is where I actually make games. And uh, by the power editing, I will soon turn a bit lower quality because I discovered after recording everything uh, a setting that I should have been using. Please bear with me. I'm still learning this vlog recording stuff. Uh, you're going to be fine. Uh, next time, I promise you, the whole vlog is going to be beautiful. <laughs> anyway, uh, today I want to talk about Pendulous Swing. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. What is Pendulum Swing? So, Pendulum Swing is an adventure game, a point and click adventure game, set in a fantasy version of the American Warring Twenties. So, we like to say that it's Tolkien meets the Great Gatsby, if you will. In this game, you play as an already retired hero who has saved the world about three, four hundred years ago with her group of adventurers. So you could say that this game sort of takes place after a fictional previous game where you have already killed the final boss and you have saved the world. People have erected statues in your honor and so on. But now you have sort of retired. You haven't really done much since. You settle down on an island with your wife and, you know, the world just kept going without you. But then one day your magic axe is stolen. So you're kind of forced to rejoin society. And what you realize is that orcs and goblins and so on, they've started to move into the cities and they want the same rights as everyone else. They want the right to vote. They want education and, you know, they just want to be treated the same as everyone else. So it's kind of up to you as a player to sort of discover this world and decide how you react to this new reality that you face. So it's kind of a, a new take on fantasy. Uh, I love fantasy and I love you know RPGs in general, but I still think that there are things that we can explore more basically. So I wanted to make a game about prejudice and racism and this whole idea that some creatures in the fantasy world are the bad guys because reasons, that's something that I wanted to play with. Uh, because I feel that in our world as well, we have that like, oh, those people are like that. Just don't question it. They, it's just the way they are because I tell you that they are. So I think that there, there were things in fantasy that I could like use to talk about prejudice and so on. Uh, so we don't have any mapping like one to one, like orcs are the specific group or ethnicity or anything like that. But we do have, um, we have taken inspiration from real world groups or rather the way people have been treated historically. So for example, a dwarven ale is prohibited. That's what happened to uh, Irish and German immigrants to the United States. Like when the prohibition happened during the 1920s, some groups, especially immigrants from areas um, that have like an alcohol culture uh, where they come from, they were sort of targeted uh, because of this prohibition. So even though there is no like one to one, we have taken inspiration from how we treat each other or have treated each other uh, in our physical world. So uh, going back to what you actually do in this game, um, basically it's a lot of talking to the characters in the world listening to their stories, learning from them, understanding the world from their perspective, and also, of course, uh, helping them with different tasks and so on. It's a kind of low-key game where you can explore, you know, at your own pace and so on. Uh, there is no violence. We were very clear that we didn't want any combat in the game because, let's face it, you have already saved the world. You are the most powerful person in Pendula, which is the world that uh, this game takes place in. So just come up wouldn't be fair. Also, we as game developers, we're just not that interested in games that focus on combat. There are plenty of great games that do focus on combat. It's just like we didn't feel like that's where we excel. And also there are so many games with combat already. So why not make something else? 
Pendula Swing was released episodically, which means that we chopped it up in seven different episodes or chapters. And we released episode one and two in August of 2018. Yeah, that's correct. And then every third month we released another episode. So we finished in November of last year, 2019. And Something that we're really happy about is that this meant that we could get input from you guys, from our community uh, along the way, which was really great. Uh, so we got reports about bugs, things that could have been better, things that you did like, and that really helped us you know, take this game in the right direction. So we're super happy that you helped us along the way and really made this game as good as it could be. Something that we did see along the way was that some people were hesitant to buy this game because it was episodic. Uh, some people were sort of like, mm, but it's a small indie studio, will they be able to finish this? And also, we were a bit unlucky because, you know, um, because of what happened to Telltale, for example. Um, the faith in episodic games was not the best uh, during part of this, uh, this journey. So, what we want to do with Pendula Swing, The Complete Journey, is that we will take all of the content from Pendula Swing, put it into one standalone product. So no more unlocking episodes, not being able to go somewhere because you don't own that DLC, stuff like that. It's just one big game, you get everything for one upfront fee. And we have fixed a lot of bugs. We have actually hired an external studio that's just testing this game. Like they're just ripping it apart, reporting everything. The first round that we have, they reported more than a hundred issues. Um, the you know they haven't finished this round yet, but it's probably going to be something similar. So yeah, I got my work cut out for me. Um, but yeah, so we we're fixing a lot of issues. We're brushing up the UI. Um, there are some new features that you might be interested in. So for for example, now you will be able to fish, uh, which is something that we have heard of people like. Um, we have other things such as now all the characters actually have eyes that are moving. We have introduced more like user experience things, such as when you hover something, they will actually light up which might not sound very impressive, but trust me, it actually does make a big difference when you play the game. We have made the UI prettier and so on. So like there are plenty of improvements that you will see in the game, especially if you have played the previous game, of course. And just in general, uh, it's a better product. Some of these fixes will uh, be put into the vanilla version of Pendula Swing. So if you have bought the previous episodes, you will still get it. Some things are exclusive to the complete journey. But if you have already bought all of the episodes, fear not. We will put up a system for you to be able to claim a key for the complete journey, actually, because we want to reward you who have been with us along this journey. Uh, without you, truly, this wouldn't have been possible. So uh, keep your eyes peeled, look us up on social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that, and we will let you know when it's time to redeem your key for the complete journey. Something that we're also doing now that we are releasing the complete journey is that we are releasing the soundtrack to the game, which is something that I'm personally really stoked about. It's already out on Spotify, on iTunes, Apple Play, um, Tidal, Google Play Music. A lot of different sites already have the soundtrack, so you can listen to it today. I will put the links in the description, probably. And uh, yeah, but we are also releasing it as a DLC on Steam. So you can get the full soundtrack, just MP3, so you can listen to them wherever you are, whenever you want to listen to it. And I have to say that the soundtrack is really amazing. We had our composer called Kevin, who composed most of the music. He had some help, and we also had a singer who sang one of the tracks, the one that you can hear in the speakeasy. But we're really stoked about the soundtrack, and we hope that you enjoy it as much as we do. So we're super excited about this release of The Complete Journey. 
and we hope that you will like it as much as we do. And you can wishlist uh, Pendulum Swing The Complete Journey already. Uh, I'll also put the link in the description. And just, yeah, I hope you like it. And if you think that your friends would like it too, please share it with them. And let us know in the comments if there's something you would like to see in the game. Because there's still time for us to make this game even better. And we will also, of course, patch it and update it for free for the people who will buy it in the future. So let us know any content you would like to see in the game. And let, let us know what you want me to talk about next time on this vlog. Once again, I'm alone here, unfortunately. Laura is in uh, Skövde. But hopefully uh, in the future you will see both of us here on the vlog. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I hope you join us next time. Thank you for being here. Bye.